This is an example of how you can use HTTP Vault secrets to store static secrets and synchronize them into a native Kubernetes secret using Vault Secrets Operator or VSO. Here, we're going to store a set of GitHub app credentials into HVS, and Vault Secrets Operator will transform them into a Kubernetes secret that can be used by Argo CD, a GitOps framework. Keep in mind that while this example focuses on using Argo CD, you can use this workflow for any Kubernetes secret that a Kubernetes resource or workload needs to reference. I've already created a GitHub app for Argo CD to be able to pull from a private repository. This GitHub app has sufficient access uh, that allows the Argo CD to read from the private repository. So I'll copy the private key of the GitHub app, as well as the app ID and app installation ID and the URL to the repository into HVS. In HVS, there's a concept called applications. The application stores a set of secrets relevant to a specific application. I am going to label this one Argo CD. Next, I will deploy the Vault Secrets Operator to my Kubernetes cluster. I've already installed it using the Helm chart. And once you install Vault Secrets Operator using a Helm chart, you get a set of CRDs related to HCP Vault Secrets as well as Vault. There are two CRDs that we're going to be focused on today, and that's the HCP Auths as well as the HCP Vault Secrets Apps custom resource definitions. These custom resource definitions are going to be used to authenticate to HCP Vault Secrets and then synchronize the secret from the application into the Kubernetes secret. Vault Secrets Operator needs access to HVS in order to read secrets. I create a service principle in HashiCorp Cloud Platform with the viewer role. This enables the Vault Secrets Operator to have read-only access to the HVS secrets that I've stored for the Argo CD application. I copy the client ID and the client secret of the service principle and store it into a Kubernetes secret. In this case, I labeled it HVS service principle. Next, I'll define the HCP auth resource. This resource defines how Vault Secrets Operator is going to authenticate to HVS. In this case, I am going to define the HCP organization, project ID, and reference the secret that contains the service principles, client ID, and secret. I'll create an HCP Vault Secrets app resource named GitHub creds in order to retrieve secrets from HCP Vault secrets and store them in a Kubernetes secret. In this definition, I'm going to reference the HCP Vault Secrets app custom resource as well as the HVS application that I want to grab the secrets from, specifically Argo CD. Most importantly, I'm going to define the Kubernetes secret destination. I'll create the secret. I'll also propagate labels that are specific to the Argo CD controller. The Argo CD controller will scan each secret and examine whether or not it has a label that describes the kind of secret that it needs to onboard. In this case, I'm going to onboard repository credentials. It will store it into a Kubernetes secret named GitHub creds. And optionally, I define some transformation templates to transform the fields from HVS into a Kubernetes secret. Most of my fields are one-to-one. -one. So for example, GitHub app ID is exactly how it should be in order for Argo CD to recognize it as a GitHub app ID. However, I add an additional field that is not going to be stored in HVS, and that is the type. This is required for Argo CD to recognize the type of repository that it is going to be creating. Vault Secrets Operator will refresh the secret after one hour. If I change the GitHub application and get a new private key, I can update them in HVS, and Vault Secrets Operator will automatically refresh them into a Kubernetes secret. Once Vault Secrets Operator picks up that resource, it will create a Kubernetes secret called GitHub creds. GitHub creds will have all of the fields from the Argo CD application in HVS in its data field. If I check the data field, it will have the GitHub application ID, GitHub application installation ID, uh, as well as any other fields that I have statically defined as part of the transformation template, like type, which is Git. I'll also have the label propagated by the custom resource definition to allow Argo CD to onboard 
these repository credentials. Once I check Argo CD's repositories, I have automatically onboarded the repository credentials using that GitHub app that I'm synchronizing from HVS into a Kubernetes secret.